Okay, so here is the observer, naked eye observer, right? And this is the light coming from a distant star. And we collect with our naked eye only a small amount of the total energy emitted by uh, the star because all of star's energy is emitted, it's broadcast uniformly throughout the space. So at a large distance from, from it, you receive only a tiny amount of uh, that energy. And the question is how can we perhaps gather more light, more starlight into our eye? And there are basically two ways to do that. We can use a refraction of light, bending, as it passes from one medium to another, or we can use the reflection of light uh, by mirrors. Okay, so say that here we have on one side air, and on the other side we have glass, right, denser medium. And say that there is a, a ray of light falling from less dense medium onto this boundary between less dense and more dense medium. And it turns out that what this uh, ray of light would do in passing from less dense to more dense medium, it will bend towards the vertical. So that this angle here is smaller uh, than the incident angle here. Why does it do that? It does that because the propagation, the speed of propagation through a medium is less than the speed of propagation uh, through air, through a less dense medium. And you can understand this through an analogy. Suppose that you work as a lifeguard, and here is the shore, and here is the lifeguard, and then there is a person in water who is in trouble, who is screaming, help! Now, you want to reach uh, the person who is drowning or is in trouble in the shortest possible time. That's your goal, right? That's, that should be your strategy, to get to this person in the shortest po possible time. You also know, well, most people run faster than they can swim. So then, the wrong strategy would not be to go in a straight line. You can actually minimize the time by running a little bit longer on the, on the shore, because you can run, run faster, so that you reduce the distance that you have to swim. So in order to minimize the time, you run a little bit longer on the shore, and then you swim the rest of the way to the person. Why? Because you can run faster on uh, uh, the ground than, than you can swim. And that's exactly uh, what the light does. You can actually formulate a theory of light propagation where you say that the light propagates so that it goes from a point A to point B in the shortest possible time. It's so-called Fermat principle that governs, say, the, the way the light behaves. Okay? So it's the same basically strategy as 
the one that would be used by a lifeguard who is trying to help a person, right? So he would not go in a straight line because it does, it, that line will not, uh, uh, does not minimize time. That's why the light refracts in going from less dense to a more dense medium. So you can use refraction to actually channel the light, collect it to more light into your eye. So let's look into the detail how we can use uh, refraction to channel more, more light. Okay, so here are uh, the light rays coming from the uh, star. It is at such great distance from us that we can assume that uh, near uh, the object of any earthly size, they're essentially parallel to each other. And then you shape um, a more dense medium such that all of these uh, rays would, through refraction, be all collected in the same point, so-called focal point. Okay? So what the length uh, the, the lens does, it using the refraction, the bending of light, it can actually channel the, all the light rays into the same point that is called focal point. Okay? So that way, by using the lens, I could collect all of this light into a single point. If I didn't have lens there, then all the light that I would that would reach this point if my eye is here would be basically just this ray here. So you can see how using uh, lenses and refraction you can gather more light into your eye that you place in the focal uh, point. Okay, so the light rays arriving at the lens are all parallel to each other. Then each one of them is bent just by the right amount. And uh, all the rays are collected in uh, this single uh, point that is called focus or focal point. And the distance between the lens and the focal point, this distance here, is called focal length. So the focal length of a, a, a lens is the distance between the lens and its focal point.